You can enjoy me tenderly playing with your scalp for as long as you like. It's too bad I don't have one of those massagers. I bet those would give great massages. I found this receipt from the hardware store on the counter marked for today. What do you think? Let's continue looking around as much as we can. <laughs> Adventurers, Finn here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Night Nurse. And last time, Kotonoha and Mio just broke into Sayori's house for some answers. Because if you haven't watched the previous episode, I highly recommend checking it out. Because we are suspicious of Sayori in this mod, and we don't know why, which is what we are going to find out in today's episode. And also, if you guys notice, I turned my hair blonde for some reason. I don't know why, I just feel like it. So, without further ado, you guys know the drill, and what time is it? Of course, it's Doki Doki time. How are you doing, Finn? I'm awakened by the sound of Sayori's voice. I look over to I look over to see her in the doorway, carrying a drink mug, a folder under her arm, and what seems to be one of her stuffed cows. I decided to get you some warm chocolate to help you with your throat. Oh. She has what well, she has Mr. Cow over? Okay, um, maybe just maybe she might be like, I don't know, staying over at our place to take care of me and all that jazz. Okay. <laughs> I also ran over to my house and got you someone to keep you company. Say hello to Mr. Cow. Oh, okay, company? Yes, now that's definitely what I need. Sayori, thank you, but Say hello to Mr. Cow. <laughs> hello. Good. Now that we have gotten that out of the way, hopefully you'll start to feel better soon in no time. What's that you have under your arm? This? Oh. Some of the girls from the music club came over to drop off your homework and see how you're doing. I thanked them and sent them on their way. Huh. Sayori isn't usually the one to just dismiss people like that. It seems like Kotonoha was already trying to put some kind of plan in motion. I'm not sure what that would be exactly. You wouldn't happen you wouldn't happen to know anything about this little visit, would you, Finn? No. I'm as surprised as you are. I didn't even think about all of about all of the home schoolwork I were I missed today. Well, don't you worry about a thing, my darling. We don't we won't have to think about that nasty old homework for today. I want you to focus on getting better. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Listen to your nurse, Finn. After all, it is my What? <laughs> After all, it's my job to take care of you until you're better. Smiley face Aww. <laughs> Okay, of course, I'll, I'll do it for you, my uh, my cinnamon bun. I mean, until you're better. Hmm. Well, can't argue with that. I know I can. Very easily, in fact. For my sake, though, I wouldn't do that. Also, excuse me for like tugging or like pulling onto my freaking hat right now. This one, <laughs> my hair is kind of too big, and it's well, I'm putting the hat on is a little bit too tight. I don't know why. My uh, maybe it's because my hair is uh, getting a little bushier, and uh, and no, I'm still not taking a haircut. Anyway, thanks for the hot chocolate, Sayori. Ah, uh, you're welcome, Finn. You know, it almost reminds me of some of the winters we spent when we were little. Yeah, when it would get dark outside and we rush inside, my mom would already have some hot chocolate ready for the both of us. You always had this adorable look on your face when you saw it. At least it wasn't like the poor face you made whenever you drank it too fast. I resent that. You know I'm only kidding, Sayori. All right, don't forget to take your medicine, okay? Yeah. Let me get you another glass of water. I don't want you getting up so much unless you have to. You need your rest. I know, Sayori. I know. Are you never going to let that go? 
You know how much I worry about you, Finn. Now just wait a moment. I'll be right back. She dashes out of the room and goes down the stairs, her footsteps making loud noises as she does so. I know she means well and all, but then a part of me feels like she's become a little obsessed with me. Is it wrong that a part of me enjoys this attention from her? I don't, but uh, considering that she's feeling a, that she's uh, a little off, then again, I'm still a little bit uncomfortable, but let's just, you know, go with the flow for now. It just doesn't feel right. Ugh, my head. Alright, here you are, Finn. A glass of fresh water just for you. Oh, uh, um, thank you, Sayori. I didn't even hear her enter the room. I guess I was just lost in thought for a moment there. There's a pause as Sayori glares at me. I'm not bothering you or anything, am I? No, not at all. What makes you say that? You were kind of ignoring me for a moment there. I hope that's not your way of, say of saying you don't want me around. No, Sayori, that's not it. I'm... I guess I'm still kind of out of it, that's all. Okay, because I'm doing my best to help you and I wouldn't appreciate you treating me that way. You know I'd never treat you that way, Sayori. I... Are you sure you should say that to her? You still don't know if this is real life or fantasy right now. I... Care deeply about you. You are one of the most important people in my life, Sayori. One of them? I mean, besides my mom, you know. Oh, okay. So long as we understand each other. I'm here because I love you and I want to be here, so let me help you. I won't take no for an answer. Sayori, the last thing I would ever want is to push you away again. I... I don't want to go back to us being estranged from each other. I never forgot about you, Finn. You were always on my mind. R really? Yup, yup, yup. You've always been important to me, too. I was sad that when we weren't talking as much, but I'm super glad that... But I'm super glad we can be together like this now. Yeah, it's like a dream come true. <laughs> it is, it really is. I could have said it better myself. Is there anything else you need while I'm here? You said you were ki you were feeling kind of out of it. As I set up to take a drink from my mug, I catch a glimpse of something outside the window next to my bed. Something is going on at Sayori's says. Oh, it seems they have noticed Kotonoha and Mio had broken in, and, uh, oh boy. Is that Kotonoha? <laughs> of course, I knew it, because of course, if you, uh, if you guys haven't seen what happened last time. <laughs> what is she and Mio doing over there at her front door? Hello? Where's to Finn? Yeah. I can't let her see through the window. I put my mug on my nightstand and move in such a way as to block the window from view. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so out of it right now. I think it's because I have this pounding headache that hurts like heck. Uh, I'm sorry if I was being a little mean to you before. No, that's okay. Consider it karma for all the time I poked fun at you. Well, maybe I can help ease the pain for you a little bit. I'll see if you have any aspirins in a while. Sayori gets a little closer to me. I look behind me, moving back to give Sayori some room while quickly looking at the door, at the window. Okay, the two girls seem to be out of sight now. <sighs> Whew! That was, uh, that was close. Maybe if I could give the top of your head a little massage, that might help with the pain. I flinch a little at the touch of Sayori's icy cold hands. Come on, Finn. Don't fight it. Sorry, it's just that your hands are kind of chilly. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's okay. I just wasn't expecting it. Your cold hands or the massage. I don't mind doing this for you at all. After all, I'd do anything for my beloved partner in love. 
I can't help but shudder at Sayori's touch. This time, however, it's not so much because of her cold hands. No, this time it's more so the feeling and sensation of it all. Oh, Sayori, um, why do you look at me like that? And this music... What can I say with some fan mods? Uh, the music is amazing. Well, depending on the uh, on the theme and the mood of the uh, of the scenes and all. But this, uh, I, I I really want to talk about it, but I don't know, want to, uh, to stall or waste any time for you guys. So that would be a um, a story for another day. Sayori, my best friend and the girl I've had feelings for since we were younger tenderly holding and massaging my head. Don't fight it, Finn. Just embrace it. Mm, Alright. Does that feel good? Yeah, it sure does. I don't feel so much tension anymore. <laughs> That's good. It's just you and me, Finn. Or me and you. Wink, wink. <laughs> Oh, I, um, I still cannot get my head over that mod. It's just so good. And I promise, I, I promise you all, I, um, <laughs> it's a good one. All right. If you appreciate great writing and everything, go ahead and check it out. And this will be the last time I'm going to mention that mod or whatever. But <laughs> just, I just had to. Nothing else matters right now. You can enjoy me tenderly playing with your scalp for as long as you like. It's too bad I don't have one of those massagers. I bet those would give great massages. Nah, Sayori is the best uh, massager all around. I prefer her massaging my head than just using a massager instead. I didn't think of looking for one though. It's fine. The this feels better than anything those do hickeys could ever do. Oh, is that so? I can't describe it, but this just feels soothing. How do you do it, Sayori? What? what? Well, I just take my hand, my hands and then I just... You know what I mean, Sayori. Oh, right. Well, I don't know. I guess you could say it just come to me naturally. Hmm. I imagine you'd make a great mother someday with how well you're treating me. Finn? I really must be in La La Land if I blurted that out to you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, she would definitely be a, um, a great wife and a mother. She momentarily stops massaging me as her cheeks turn crimson. Wait. Are you saying that you want us to? Um, a part of me would have said yes, but a part of me would have said no because, like I said, we need a um a breath of fresh air right now. No, 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 Sayori, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> yeah, no, just, just no. I meant, I just meant, well. That you have incredible motherly instincts and you'd make a great mother someday of course in the future not right now i mean we're still in high school and all and it seems as though as i'm going all in with this dream if it is a dream try to hold it together finn remember why you called kotonoha in the first place uh, oh right <laughs> oh boy that was you surprised me with that one, Finn. I didn't mean it like that, Sayori. I know, but still. She has this dreamy look on her face as she resumes her massage treatment. We remain quiet for a while until Sayori speaks up. Is that nasty banging headache feeling any better? Yeah, a lot better. Maybe if I massage the sides of your forehead, that might help that nasty feeling go away. Before I can say anything, she's already moved on to massaging my temples. That feels good. Great! Anything to help ease that pain of yours. 
I almost feel like you're too good to me, Sayori. Like, I don't deserve this kind of treatment from you. I'm always happy to help you, Finn. Don't think that way. I know better than anyone else what those kinds of thoughts can do to you. I know, but I can't help but think about it. Well, it's like my therapist told me once, so long as you don't give any power to those mean thoughts, that's all they'll ever be. Remember that you are worth it and that you are loved. Wow, those therapy sessions must be doing wonders for you. They have been. I've been feeling so much better these last few weeks. I'm happy to hear that. You know, your forehead feels pretty warm right now. I should probably go get you a cool towel to help with that. Sayori momentarily steps out of the room, presumably to catch a damp towel for my forehead. I take another look at the window. Two girls are thankfully still out of sight. Whatever they're planning, I hope they don't get caught for breaking and entering. Koto always had a knack for solving mysteries, so I'm going to trust her judgment here and hope she knows what she's doing. Well, um, as long as she has like <laughs> freaking Kyoko Kirigiri instincts going on, that would be fine. I sure hope you know what you're doing, Koto. You know this is considered breaking and entering, right? Or in other words, trespassing, but whatever. Of course, I know that, Mio, but desperate times call for desperate measures. After breaking into Sayori's house, Mio and I began to look around in hopes of finding some kind of clue. Mio made sure to close the door after us as to avoid arousing suspicions. We opted to search the house from bottom to top from top to bottom as much as we could, starting with the ground floor. I made sure to make some small flashlights with us just in case we needed them. While our phones have had flashlights built into them, I argued that it would best to, to conserve the battery as much as possible. Aside from a few discarded grocery bags, I'm not seeing anything strange here. I found this receipt from the hardware store on the counter marked for today. What do you think? Hmm, let me have a look at that. Taking the receipt in hand, I hover my flashlight over it and scan through it. What catches my eye is that it lists some heavy-duty work gloves and a spool of barbed wire. Wait a moment, could those gloves have been... What's wrong, Kota? Did you get a look... Did you get a good look at that bag Sayori was carrying with her? No, not really. She did seem rather fidgety about it, though. The receipt mentions a pair of work gloves, which I saw fall out of the bag. That's not all though. She also apparently bought, bought some barbed wire to go along with it. Barbed wire? What would she need that for? Your guess is as good as mine. Unless we find that spool of barbed wire around here, that can only mean she took it with her when she was going back to see Finn. Then, that bag? Possibly, but I don't want to jump to conclusions just yet. Let's continue looking around as much as we can. Alright, barbed wire, working gloves. Not entirely sure what are those for. Alright, I got you a, di a few different ones. You can use this one to put on your forehead while you use the other one to dab around your head just to help with the warm feeling. Wow, you thought of everything. Taking care of someone is no laughing matter, Finn. I'm hoping this will help you feel less hot and more comfortable. As I start dabbing the washcloth around my head and ears, I hear Sayori mutter something. Except nothing can make you less hot than you already are. What was that? Oh, I said this will help your body temperature so you feel less hot than you already are. Really? Really now? Mm, yeah. I thought that's what you said. Liar. I know what I heard. As much as I hoped you found me attractive, this all still feels good, too good to be true. Aww. I appreciate that, really. <laughs> uh, as long as this bun, this bun right here finds me attractive, I really appreciate that. Yet, 
this feel this all feels so real could this be my dream come true does sayori have feelings for me even after all this time isn't it helping i'd say so i think my forehead feels a lot cooler now that's great i'm glad you're starting to feel better yeah thank you so much sayori no things are necessary finn I'm enjoying every moment of this. I love taking care of you and knowing I'm helping you feel better. I'm going to be sticking around for as long as I can. There's a short pause before Sayori speaks up again. You know, I've... I've never told anyone this before, but... Sayori becomes hesitant to speak, her voice almost a whisper. It seems she's struggling to find the right words. You're one of the main reasons I have the strength to get up in the morning. Sayori? After you joined the club, I couldn't help but wake up, reminding myself that I get to see your face again for after so long. My heart just swelled with joy, knowing you'd be there. Yet I felt awful whenever I see you talking with the other girls. I didn't want to be selfish, but a part of me felt like I had to have you all for myself. I couldn't do that to you, though. Not when I saw you so happy and making friends with the other girls. Sayori, I didn't know. I... Well, now you do. I hate myself for being selfish and even thinking those things, but you don't know just how much I miss being around you. You're at least the least selfish person, selfish person I've ever met, Sayori. I guess it's only natural to feel this way, especially with how we stop talking to each other. You haven't done anything wrong, Sayori. I mean, it's my fault we started drifting apart anyway. Looking back on it all, I was a complete idiot for not considering your feelings and I just... I'm taken by surprise when Sayori gets onto the bed with me, locking her arms around my waist. Sayori? What are you... I figured this would help keep you comfortable. In case you have the chills, at least I can help keep you warm. I don't think that's the only thing you're trying to accomplish here. I'm kind of feeling warm right now, that's for sure. If anything, this is making me feel kind of uneasy. Why would it though? Sayori has hugged me like a million times since we've known each other. Why would this time be any different? Is it because? Ugh, I don't even... I don't even know right now. What should I do? Oh, do not resist. Move away from her. Um, oh, okay. So we have some choices here. Uh, do not resist. Move away from her. Uh, if I move away from her, that would be rude. And do not resist. Of course, she's just trying to help. So um, even though I'm slightly suspicious of her, like I said, we'll just go with the flow and do not resist. <sighs> there you go. Don't fight it anymore. Just embrace my love and my tender love and care, Finn. I knew you couldn't resist the sensation. I don't. Your touch feels so good, so comforting. <laughs> I feel. I'm glad you feel that way, Finn. You have no idea how long I waited for this day. Just to be here, alone with you, with no one to tell us, to, to judge us or tell us we can't be together. We are free from all that now. It's just you and me with nobody else. This almost feels so wrong. Are you sure it's okay for us to be like this, Yori? I'm positive. There's no reason we can't be. Sayori, I've been waiting for so long to tell you. Oh? Tell me what, Finn? All logic and reason have abandoned me. Dream? Reality? Honestly, I don't give a dang anymore. If this is a dream, I don't want to ever wake up. I've never been happier in all my life and I'm going to seize this wonderful opportunity. No more hiding my feelings or worrying about others. It's just like Sayori said. We're free. I don't want to hide my feelings from you anymore. I love you, Sayori. You have no idea how long I wanted to confess to you, but I always felt I didn't deserve you. I felt as though you deserved someone much better than some pitiful loser like me. 
Someone who can take care of you and love you properly. I already found someone like that, Finn. He's right here, in this room. Of course, you know who it is. Mr. <laughs> Your her childhood plushie? No, <laughs> no. No, silly. I'm talking about you. Sayori boosts me on the nose and giggles to herself. I can't help but melt at her surprise touch to my nose. I can't help but laugh and smile. Aw, you're so cute when you're smiling like that, Finn. You need to smile more. Uh, I... I never really had a reason to smile like this, Sayori. I just felt so alone and hopelessly lost these last few years. Don't get me wrong, joining the club helped with that a lot, but even still, I just wanted to tell you how much I wanted to be with you. I just felt like you'd never see me the way I saw you. I mean, why would you when you could do so much better than me? You don't have to give yourself credit, Finn. Sure, there was that time we drifted apart, but ignoring all that, you've always been there for me. I don't want any other guy in my life. It's you that I want. I know in my heart that I won't ever love anyone the way I love you. I don't know what to say. I just hope and I can live up to your expectations, Sayori. I just want to make sure you're safe and taken care of. You already have, Finn. You're so clueless sometimes, you know. You're always looking out for me and you've always taken care of me ever since we were little. Don't you remember how we first met? When you saved me from those bullies in the park? How could I forget? Of course! Finn to the rescue. I, I'm a hero, so... I, 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 I know what I had to do. I hated seeing the way they were treating you. Exactly. I really freaking hate bullies. Right when they start, they were playing keep away with my doll, you came in and managed to scare them off. From that moment on, I know deep in my heart you were someone special. Although I just didn't know it at the time since we were both still little kids and all. You know how it is with those complicated feelings, right? Yeah. You don't have to tell me twice. You're almost too good to be true, Sayori. That's why I question if you're real and if I deserve to have you in my life. To say that you think I do, though, I'm honestly kind of overwhelmed. Trust me, Finn. I'm real. Even more than that, I want you in my life. My body relaxes and I melt into Sayori's embrace. Sayori moves me closer to her, placing my head against her chest. This is kind of overwhelming, not gonna lie. Before I have a complete meltdown, Sayori breaks away from me and lies down in my bed. Um, Sayori, what are you doing? Come on in, Finn. It's your bed after all. It's so nice and comfy too. Are you sure that's a good idea? You still realize I have a cold, right? Relax, Finn. I'll be fine. Hop in with me. There's no reason to be such a shy boy around me anymore. Now that we both know how we feel about each other, you don't need to be scared. It's only you and me. Nothing else matters right now. This has taken quite the turn, but at this point, I could almost care less. I only hope I don't get her sick, but if Sayori says it's okay, then who am I to deny her? I proceed to adjust myself and lay down beside her. She gives me a rather interesting smile. Hi there. <laughs> Hi, Sayori. Sayori is looking at me lovingly, smiling as she brushes the hair away from my forehead. This is kind of awkward. How do you feel? Well, pretty good. You see, nothing bad is going to happen, Finn. I'll always be here to take care of you. Sayori, thank you. For real. You have no idea how much this means to me. You're welcome. I guess you could say I've always been attracted to cute, clueless, shy guys if it's already obvious. What? Uh, oh. 
Don't worry, it doesn't bother me at all. I think it only adds to how cute you are. If anything, it just makes me want to take care of you even more. Sir. <laughs> what? What? Whoa! Oh, she's going up and down and all around. She surprises me once again when she pulls me in closer to her, kissing my forehead and my cheeks repeatedly. Oh my god! This, this is too much cuteness. I, ah, my heart. Ah, oh, my heart, Sayori. Stop it. You're so freaking cute and precious. Oh. <laughs> she pulls away for a moment, giving me a slight smile. Now if only we get rid of that nasty cold. I wouldn't have to be afraid about kissing you the way I've always wanted to. I feel my face get a little warm. Is it fever? Is it because of how flustered I am right now? I can't even tell anymore. It doesn't matter. Do you mean that? I love you, Finn. If I wasn't being straightforward enough with you, honest, there's no reason for me to lie to you. I'd never want to hurt you or break your heart. Do you think I'm going to smother you in sweet kisses for some stupid prank? Well, have me there. Not even the girls who'd pull pranks on me would go that far. I'm not like any of those other girls, Finn. They're just stupid to realize how much... Uh, sorry, I, I, I am so sorry. That one really, really caught me off guard for a second and lo lost in thought. Jeebus, man. Sayori, Sayori right here is too precious for the, in this world. They're just too stupid to realize how much of a fantastic guy you are. It's their loss, honestly. Yep, same goes to the girls who didn't like me back in childhood or anything, really. None of them deserve to have you. I just... This all just feels like a dream I've had so many times. I can't believe this is happening. I feel a random pinch on the side of my leg. Ouch! See? You're not dreaming. I don't blame you though. I can't believe I finally dared to make this happen. You've always made me feel like... feel kind of funny inside, like having butterflies in your tummy kind of funny. After all this time, I never felt this way about anyone else. I've always felt the same way about you, Sayori. These feelings I have for you, they're my honest, true feelings for you and it's never made me feel so real. That's why I can't bear to think about you being in another woman's arms. Why I never forgive myself if I let Monica or some other girl whisk you away without giving me a fighting chance. Monica? What does she have to do with anything? <laughs> exactly. I that I hope that you and I continue to only have eyes for each other. Remember that you don't need to be shy anymore or hold back around me, Finn. Now, why don't you go ahead and lean back into my chest to get... Guys, don't get any funny ideas. I feel myself slipping away as I absentmindedly obey her, placing my head against her chest once more as she rests her chin on top of my head. Something had come over me, but I don't care anymore. Logic and reason have abandoned me. All of that has been replaced by my passion and desire to always be with Sayori. Everything is alright now. You're alright. We're both going to be fine. Having you here with me like this just feels so right. I just want to continue taking care of you and keeping you safe. I never want to leave your side. Please, keep snuggling with me like this. I don't want to leave your side either. Would you? Sayori suddenly becomes hesitant and almost kind of shy for some reason. If I don't have to be shy around you anymore, then you don't have to be around me too, Sayori. Tell me. I know how shy you can be sometimes, Finn, but you don't have to be that way around me. I just don't want to be a burden on anyone, especially not for you. 
I know most people would rather I stay quiet and out of the way. You're not a bother to me at all. I want you to stay with me forever, Finn, so stop running away from love. You don't know how long I've yearned to hear you say that to me. So Finn, would you like to sleep with me here like this tonight? I just want to keep holding... I, I just want you to keep holding me tight and feeling your warm embrace. What do you think? <laughs> do you never have to ask? <laughs> I love you, my darling. I love you so much, Sayori. Sayori gives a content sigh as she holds me closer to her. I can feel her breath going down my neck. At this point, I have completely forgotten about everything else in the world. The literature club, the music club, none of them matter anymore. Now, it's just me and Sayori. Well, me and you. Just Sayori. <laughs> of course, just Sayori. You're all that I ever need, Sayori. And you're all I ever need, Finn. I should have listened to my heart in the first place and spoken earlier. No. If anything, I should have been such a spineless coward and ignored my feelings for you. You're not a coward, Finn. I wish you wouldn't talk about yourself like that. After all, you really are the light of my life. I don't even know if I'd be here if you didn't check in on me that fateful morning. Oh, right. That one fateful morning that we're never going to talk about ever again. I was so scared out of my mind, Sayori. I thought I was going to lose you forever. Lose my best friend and the woman I loved forever. Thankfully, you came to my rescue. You're, you're like a storybook hero brought to life. Please, don't think so badly about yourself. For every single bad thing you say about yourself, I'll gladly tell you a thousand things I absolutely love about you. Please, Finn, never forget just how truly amazing you are. Sayori, I feel myself breaking down. Seriously? Tears? Right now of all times? As I try to hide my face from Sayori, she catches me and brings my face down to her chest once more. Thank you. Sayori, you have no idea how much. It's no problem at all. I don't want to see or hear any negative thoughts you have about yourself. If you do, I'll just kiss them all goodbye and remind you how, how much you mean to me. Never want to lose you, Sayori. Not now or ever again. And you won't, so long as we stay dedicated to one another. We need each other. No one else can truly understand what we have. We don't need any of them anyway. We're just a bunch of lying, two-faced phonies. Yeah. No better than Momoko and Destiny. Those two popular female dogs? What about them? Oh, you know how they'd act all innocent around the teachers and then super nasty to Whoever else they hated? I really hated those kinds of uh, those kinds of people really. Like being all narcissistic and stuff, like or something like that. Like I in other words, I just really hate those kinds of people where they act all innocent to the teachers and persuade them and deep down inside they're really, really mean. Dear Glob, I really wish those kinds of people don't exist in this world, literally. They, they're, they're just, they're just... <sighs> Let's continue. Know it? I wish I could forget about those stupid jerks. Exactly. Well, it's best to like, you know, have them forgotten in this world as well. Because, like I said, I really, really hate them. With a burning passion. Especially Destiny. Sin. You get my point. I never told you this, but they bullied me a lot when they found out I had feelings for you. I break away from Sayori, having come down from being so overjoyed to look in her eyes. What? Why? They just felt I was too happy and fake. They didn't want me to be a problem. 
One day they ran into me in the bathroom and told me they had some dirt on me they could use to ruin my life. They said they'd tell you how I felt, as well as the whole school, and never let me live it down. As if I needed another reason to hate more, hate them more than I already did. I'm so glad that, that, who was the one with the ponytail? Monica? Yeah, whatever her name is. I'm glad she knocked them down a few pegs. Yeah, that's so true. I guess Monica was good for a few things after all. Who's Monica? Brah. Brah. We just, we just talked about her a few minutes ago and you just pulled us Monica. <laughs> what is this, another who's Rem kind of thing? Uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Finn. You don't need to think about any other girls ever again. Not when you have your wonderful girlfriend right here who's super in love with you. She says that name, but no one comes to mind. Seriously? At least, no one I can remember. Should I know that name? I feel like I used to know someone by that name. It doesn't matter anymore because she's right. I don't need to think any about those harlots anymore when I have you by my side. Indeed, indeed, because we have the cinnamon bun right with me. Oh boy, investigation is going deep underway. Well, um, as much as I like to find the answers as to why Sayori is acting like this, especially with the uh, with the first uh, clues and stuff we found in the um in her kitchen, well, in Kotonoha and Mio's case, but oh boy, this is really getting a little serious and interesting now. But I'm sorry, fellow knights, nice. I'm going to end the episode right here, but don't you guys worry, there will always be another episode. And excuse me for my creaking chair, it's because, well, I cannot tell if it's broken or not, but still, it's like this, but uh, eh, I'll fix it another time. But with that aside, uh, I'm going to end it here, so likewise, there will be another one. So if you enjoy this, so if you enjoy what you're watching and like what you're seeing, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this. And click on the bell notification to be notified. And if you want to play this mod for yourself, as always, link in the description below. And with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Finn the Dark Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun, fellow knights and adventurers.